Tonight's the night. Netflix just dropped their live action Avatar The Last Airbender. And although I've heard some mixed feelings from people leading up to the release of the show, you know I had to watch it. I don't care that I saw that, that King Boomy low quality special effect. It doesn't matter. I'm watching it. And so, you know I gotta do the recap with you guys. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna watch it together and uh, do a little bit of Netflix and chilling. And you know when you chilling, you gotta do a little grubbing. So don't mind me. And then I'm gonna come in. So I'm gonna tell you right now, spoiler warning. This is your only warning. Cause there's gonna be some things we discuss and see that is going to spoil the show. So don't watch this unless you've already watched this show or if you don't plan on watching it and maybe this will give you a little oomph, a little boost and make you want to watch it. So we're on episode one and uh, hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Mm. Oh, right off the bat, we can see them getting straight into the action. They're not, they're not at the water tribe trying to free Ang or Aang. However, what movie is gonna try to say it says it. Right now, we're just straight into the action. I think we're about to see how the, how the uh, air temple was taken over by the fire tribe. That got me feeling green. But anyways, we're about to see that or maybe it's just another random fight, but let's just see. Oh, our first bending. Hey, listen, they are not playing any games. They start not strong. They start not strong. Oh my. So one thing that I'm already seeing that I'm not going to love, but I can disband this belief a little bit and just go with it, is the effectiveness of people's bending powers, okay? At the end of the day, you throw a fireball at somebody, it's not only going to like push them and be like, it should do more damage, I feel like. Like, I don't know, it could be just me. I just wanna want the leveling to be more realistic. I know in the animated series, you could get hit by a fireball and it's just like, oh no. But like, if they're gonna ground this in a little bit of realism, I would like to see like, like, the whole point of Prince Zuko having a scar is because he got hit with his dad's fire. And I know it was like super hot fire, but like I imagine if you get shot with a flamethrower in the face, you wouldn't just be like, Ugh, you got me like it would, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think that just because you're also a bender, even if it's a different kind of bender, that you all of a sudden are immune to certain hits and effects. And I know they want to be able to use the powers without having to like, do makeup and scar everybody or whatever the case may be, but maybe they gotta find some type of balance. But I don't know, it just bothers me when I see like certain like details like that, but that's just me, you know? Oh, are they doing the intro? Yeah. <laughs> they CGI instead of using real people. Mm. Fire. Yeah. For millennia, oh my goodness. Have lived in harmony. You already know that there's going to be a lot of TikTok and, vi and other types of videos coming out just based off of that intro. So if you want to get ahead of the curve, go ahead and make up your ideas and put them together for that. Because that's about to be the vibe right there. Including for me. <laughs> An airbender who may not be ready for the responsibility <laughs> of becoming the avatar. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, listen, I know that since this show is based off an animated series that is full of uh, fans and it's a cult following, that they're going to be dropping hella Easter eggs. I am here for it. And that shot right there was chef's kiss compared to Aang's, you know, sitting on the, like, oh. All right, let me not overhype this. Let, let's just get to it. Let's get to it. Shout out to them saying the name right. Is it just me? Why would other air nomads be excited or shocked at the fact that he's airbending? Like, I understand how cool or whatever it was to see him do his thing in the show, but it was only because there are no more air nomads. So that being said, if you saw someone airbending, it's like, airbending? 
oh my god it's been 100 years you feel what i'm saying so like i'm shocked that the people that live with him are shocked and even if they can't airbend before somebody in the comment be like well maybe not all people who live there are airbenders that's true but at the same time they would have seen him doing i'm sure this is not his first time jumping like his first jump he's jumping out of the nest like a little bird i'm sure he does it regularly enough for them not to be like oh my gosh look at yo look at him go like they should be like oh there he goes again you know what i'm saying just like naruto in the very uh, beginning when he used to paint on the walls, they might be like, there he go. They were annoyed, but they would still be like, there he go again. They weren't like, oh, Naruto is jumping up on the signs? It's the same thing here. So that's a little weird. Maybe they'll explain it. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> this reminds me. Cool to see all of the air bison, flying bison. But my question is, you know, okay, Aang was the last airbender and he was able to procreate and then there's you know what i'm saying whatever because there's other humans around but in the in the case of like appa and momo who are like the last of their kind are they gonna be ex are they extinct like after them that's it right what's their life expectancy like are they all <laughs> <They're> <laughs> I never thought before this moment thought about it until I seen other ones flying around. And I'm like, oh, look, look at them all together. There's multiple and you know what I'm saying? But then I thought about it and it's like, there's not multiple. Sorry if I just ruined your day. Can't I just can't pretend I'm your friend? Don't do this. Y'all not, y'all not about to get me. <laughs> So I feel indifferent here because like, you know, obviously they have to progress the story in however way they need to. But at the same time, you know, like, I don't know that I love that they could all just fly because they have flame powers all of a sudden they could fly. Because in anime series, it was, and, and I'm going to stop trying to compare it exactly bar for bar with the anime series or else I'm not going to enjoy it because it's supposed to be its own show. But... You know, one of the things that made the show so powerful was the fact that, like, not everybody can just do stuff. There's unique people that have special abilities. And then also, even if you do have special abilities, there's unique people even within that tier in class. So, like, them just, like, flying up. Because one of the reasons why the air temples were up there was, like, oh, nobody can get there without a certain help and certain tools. And that's why later on they tried to build the hot air balloons and you know they use they use gadgets and tools to get there not like just oh anytime we want to we could just fly up there we don't need anything but our hands and feet you know what i'm saying it's just a just a little bothersome for me you know but not when we have the power of the comet again not trying to compare it the whole time to the show the animated series but the whole idea of this monk is that he's one badass mother but you feel me i'm talking about to the point where when they find his dead body they're supposed to see a whole bunch of fire nation dead bodies too and be like dang that boy went out fighting bro like him by himself took out hella troops and then but here i mean he tripped them i suppose you could say they're dead but like, okay. this the legend I was hearing about? This dude right here, this fight right here is what becomes the legend later on when they find his body. It's like, damn, he put in that work. I mean, he, he, he stopped them from pushing forward a bit and then they came in and immediately kind of took him down, I feel like, you know? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, that's valid. That's valid. That that looked official. It looked like the show. It looked like the it's supposed to be in this show. It just looked good. <laughs> I'm jacking it. I'm jacking it. <laughs> you know, I just realized it just dawned on me. I mean, I knew it, but it just dawned on me that this man has been not frozen for that long. But obvious, that's obvious. But that he's been in the Avatar state for that long. 
that's got to be exhausting. <laughs> I mean, I understand in the show, you need to pass it out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, just thinking about it just got me like, yo, bro is in the, the Avatar state for 100 years. Mm. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed. With the fire, the they fire should nation attack. Attacked. All right, they going bar for bar with the show intro, but in the show, I think it was Katara who says it. And then in this show intro, so far, I don't know if they're going to do it different per episode, but uh, Ky Avatar Kyoshi said it. And now Grand Grand is saying it. <laughs> but it's still the words. It's still the words. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I know. We spotted them. Get your post now. I will say one thing that I will say is an improvement on this show compared to the animated series, and, and it's inevitable. There's going to be some comparisons made. Do you feel me? But uh, is I don't feel like people properly respected Sokka like in this series an animated series yes there's like you know he did his part whatever he was just the comic relief but it's like I felt like they gave Katara bending they gave you know what I'm saying water bending they gave Aang all of them because he's the avatar Zuko is the fire and him I'm not saying he needed to be bending but I wanted him to be like kind of like a funny uh Kind of like a funny jet like very capable very good with his tools and stuff like that and so even though he can't bend he could still hold his own like with fighting and they made his fighting style more comedic in the sense of like oh he tripped and you missed him you threw a fireball and he said whoa and it missed him and then he might might have whoops did i just punch you oh my gosh it was like drunken master in a way but without the drunkenness just like clumsy fighting and even though they haven't shown him fighting yet, so I don't know what his fighting skills are per se, I do like that, like, the villagers are taking orders from him. And even though he's young and it could be like, why is he in charge? I can see, like, all the older warriors, they went off to go, you know, fight, and he's, like, the oldest. And I don't know about where you guys come from, but as a fellow foreigner, typically, um, age is respected. So, like, you know, in my family right or wrong like i can't just like go against my older siblings i'd have to like you know go above them to my parents to get something done or something like that you know what i'm saying they're, and even you know siblings fight regardless of their age but there's like there's still like a sense of hierarchy in this life from being the oldest male or whatever the case may be so i do like that it seems even if they laugh at him sometimes because he always overdoes it which is part of his character i do enjoy that even if they're laughing at him through parts of it, it's still his position. You could tell they're like, oh, what do we do next? Like he's, this is his job. You feel me? And I do enjoy the emphasis on that. Also, I don't know about everybody's looks per se, but I will say as far as sounding, I do love Sokka's voice in this. Like it, it makes, like if I close my eyes, I feel sort of like I'm watching the animated series. His voice and his, not dialect, but his like inflection on certain words, it's given Sokka. So, so far, he might be my favorite. I am Sokka, son of Akoda, lord of uh, snow and ice. <laughs> On behalf of the water tribe, it was Wolf Cove. Th this is what I mean. Like, that is, like, he's Sokka, bro. He is Sokka. And he's saying that in response to uh, him being, like, Prince Zuko of, of a son firstborn of the Fire Lord. Da, da, da. He's like, well, I'm Sokka. Firstborn of the f ice and water. <laughs> like, that's Sokka, bro. Okay. Come on, Sokka. I know you're not supposed to win, but okay. 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 See, this is what I'm talking about. They're giving him, like, he's not winning. And they clearly still show you that, that Prince Zuko outmatches him, outclasses him when it comes to combat, you know? And a lot of shows and movies make the mistake when they want to show somebody powerful, they show somebody else weaker instead of just showing that that person is more powerful. For instance, shows like Supergirl, when they wanted to show how strong she was, they had to show her beating up Superman to show like, oh, but Superman's supposed to be great. And it's like, 
well, she's greater. But instead of doing that by showing her feats are great, like stupendous, they just make her, they just make Superman look weaker. So instead of like, okay, we know Superman is strong and they make her even stronger, they leave her here and they just make him a little weaker so he can show that she's strong. And I hate when shows and movies do that. So here, they did pretty well, cause he looked like he, woo, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and he just happened to be losing, but it doesn't feel like he's a loser. It just seems like Prince Zuko is that guy. So, oh my God, I'm loving it. Oh. The music. <laughs> the music. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's just no way you're gonna not compare this to the show, to the show. You're gonna compare the show to the show and the music hit, <laughs> it just hit just right. Da, 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 da. Oh, mu music make me lose control because like, bro, bro, how can you not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't know if I'm getting old, I'm becoming a softy, whatever the case may be, but little things like that do begin to me. I'm like over here, feelings, feelings. What is wrong with me? I'm feeling feelings, but uh, <laughs> hey, hey. They doing their thing right now. First episode is going great. Dang, they already back here? Sheesh. And I get that they have less episodes to go through more stories, so there's going to be things skipped, but it's a little jarring from someone who's watched the animated series to see like how quickly they're getting to certain beats in the story, which is not necessarily a bad or a good thing necessarily. I guess if you're a new viewer, it tracks and makes sense but as someone who's watched the og show um it, it just hit like every now and then little things like when I, wait y'all had the air mad temple already like damn you know what i'm saying little stuff like that always remember who you are. got that drip oh and there it goes the god damn avatar state <laughs> bravo bravo what a first episode man um i will say that there were some parts that was kind of like jarring and then there was other parts that was super exciting overall i know there was a lot of worry because the uh original og creators writers kind of left but I heard they gave the okay. I don't know all the politics that's in it. All I know is I enjoyed the show and I'm uh, definitely here for episode two. So if you guys like the recap slash review, first reaction, whatever you would call this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tune in because um, we're definitely in for a ride. I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate, what y'all say ain't in. All I know is go, all I know is grind. I'm on your head, so all I know is climb, just know I'm different. If I see the targets, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake, just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.